guys, this is Grace and welcome to my channel. We are on process 151 entitled Enjoying the Stage. So this is going to be my first layout featuring the latest Flavors of the Month kit from the Scrap Room. This is part of their September Flavors of the Month kit and it is a mini collection of, a, of the Pretty Little Studio Savannah Dreams. So, and it's also based off of the this month's sketch. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out this enjoying word from the pattern paper. I really like that paper with the um, the script fonts. Um, I think they're really fun and the scripty fonts is really a big trend right now that I really like because um, when you have um, serif, I think that's what it's called, um, letter stickers, it's re it makes it makes it fun to combine the the script and the serif fonts together. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up this mustard yellow paper that has the hearts. Um, I wanted that to kind of be behind my photo, so I am measuring my five by seven photo against it to make sure that I'm cutting it there on the specific measurements. I guess I sh it could have just um, grabbed a ruler but I'm lazy that way so I'm just kind of eyeballing it and I also wanted to make sure that that darkened red heart on the bottom is highlighted um, so I made sure that I cut out the paper where that's going to show. Now I have pre-printed my journaling for all of my September the scrap room kit club layouts and so I'm just pulling out the one for this specific layout and then um, making sure that I cut them in strips. Now the sketch called for two four by six photos um, and I didn't really have one on hand that I could use but I did have this one five by seven photo which I thought would work out. Um, the four by six on the sketch were horizontal and since this one was vertical I thought that it would be a good alternative for that. So if you're looking at a sketch and you're thinking, well, I don't have a specific photo for that, don't look at it. Um, I mean, you can kind of think about what other sizes of photos and orientation that you have that you can swap with it. Now, initially I wanted to do the white cardstock, but if you know me, you know my style, I like to ground my pages. And it just so happened that this blue dot paper was right behind that white cardstock when I was creating. And I thought that the dark color really contrasted well with the white, that it would make the white cardstock background stand out better. And since I only have three papers from this collection, I want to make sure that I maximize it. And so I'm cutting out the the blue paper I'm cutting out the inside of that leaving just one inch frame around it and then that's going to be my background i did trim the white cardstock about a quarter inch on just two sides of it so that all sides will be one and an eighth one and an eighth inch um with smaller than the 12 by 12. So the leftover blue paper, that's where I'm going to be cutting my circles. Uh, initially I wanted, I was thinking of using the bigger creative memory circle, but it was way too big for the size that I needed it for. Um, and so I used the largest from the three circle grouping, and then I used the green blade, which is the middle blade. And then I used the middle, the medium sized circle with the red blade, which is the one that's closest to the circle. Um, if you have creative memory circle cutters, you know what I'm talking about. But if you don't, just know that um, the red one is basically you're cutting the size of that circle. Um, but if you go any like the green or the blue, then you're cutting bigger than that size. Um, and if you notice, my green one went seamlessly, but the red one, I had to kind of cut it out with my scissors as well because the red one is a little bit, or the blade of that is getting dull. And so I need to, um, to freshen, or not freshen that up, but um, I need to make sure that the, the blade is sharpened again. 
So initially, I had put the strips of journaling over to the left bottom portion of my page. But then when I created the circles, it made, especially the biggest circle, it made the the best um, location to put the journaling strips. And so that's why I moved that. Now, um, the 5x7 photo was getting a little bit lost with the dark yellow pattern paper. And so to make sure that that stands out some more, I matted it with the light blue paper. Now a little bit about the um, photo. Um, this image is of me and my two older kids. This was actually taken last year, February of 2017. And I just wanted to document at that point how my kids are growing so fast. And if, as you can see, my son was already taller than me at this point, And my daughter was um, almost like she was getting there. And at this point, my son was 14 and my daughter was um, 11. And um, to note, uh, as of now, September, my daughter is actually three quarters, uh, a three quarter inch um, taller than me, and then my son is three inch inches taller than me, and they're fifteen and twelve, so they're growing pretty fast. And so my title for this would be enjoying this stage. Um, I just wanted to kind of look at it in a positive way, where they're growing and they're becoming teenagers, and and they're becoming um, the, you know, the, the people or the human beings that they were meant to be and they're, they're not kids anymore. And so I wanted to kind of document that instead of kind of feeling sad that my babies are growing up. Um, so I was kind of auditioning some mini letter stickers for, to complete my title here. And, um, I had pulled out a turquoise, a gold and a pink, and I ended up using the pink from my mind's eye for this. Um, I use that because uh, I'm going to use a pink twine that uh, I'm going to thread. I did punch out a hole just so I can thread my twine there because that was what the, the, the sketch called for it had some trims on the side of the sketch and I wanted to incorporate that and so I did that with this twine from American Crafts now I did do the twine I doubled the twine and then I'm just I'm just going to thread that through in the back and then grabbing some washi tape I'm going to tape the ends of it instead of wrapping it all around I mean I guess I could have since I have a lot of twine in my stash but um, it also made it easier for me to fasten it because otherwise then I'm just going to be sitting there and kind of threading it back and forth and back and forth and so I I didn't want to do that um, and then I tied a, a bow on the top side of it to kind of give it a finished look and then now I'm going to be decorating I did adhere that enjoying part with fun foam on the back so that it will be a dimensional uh, element and then I'm adhering that bird on the bottom with some more dimensional adhesive with some fun foam and then also the butterfly um, now these die cuts were part of the mini kit and they they came from the same collection and I love how these die cuts with those word stickers we can we're able to kind of layer them and have a, a unique homemade embellishment with existing products that was already in the kit. And then uh, I have that label down there that's also pink that's on top of the journaling block and that's where my date's going to be and I'm going to be just stamping the date um, after I've done this layout. I like to date my layouts because I never make them chronologically so it just helps when I am ready to put them um, in an album. And so um, when the layout was done, I was kind of feeling like it was missing something. There was a lot of white space on the top and the bottom, and I'm just kind of not used to that. And so to um, balance it out, I grabbed this uh, strip of pattern paper and then added that to the top left and the bottom right. And that's my page. If you have any questions, make sure that you leave it in the comment section below, and I will catch you guys another day. Bye.